In the vibrant year 1920, Giovanni Agnelli, a dynamic force within the Fiat factory, navigates the intricate maze of his automotive domain. His aspirations for power and control dance like elusive shadows in his thoughts. Amid this vitality, a messenger stealthily infiltrates the factory, delivering a secretive missive from the notorious Benito Mussolini. In his private sanctuary, Agnelli scrutinizes the cryptic message, while Mussolini's ominous figure casts a foreboding alliance against the wall. This clandestine pact, formed in the confines of Agnelli's office, propels the Agnellis into a whirlwind of controversial power and political sway. Unbeknownst to them, this chapter merely sets the stage for the enigmatic Bilderberg Group's emergence and the family's intricate web of dominion. Welcome to our media, where creativity meets curiosity. Join us on an exhilarating journey through the realms of finance knowledge, entertainment, and inspiration. Hit that subscribe button and prepare to dive into a world of captivating content. Get ready to unlock the doors to the Agnella Secret Empire, a legacy hidden in plain sight, yet casting shadows over Italy's past, present, and future. 1. Accelerating to the apex of power In the annals of automotive history, the name Giovanni Agnelli resonates like a powerful echo. Born in 1866, he hailed from a lineage of affluence and privilege set against the backdrop of the charming Piedmontese village of Villar Perosa. Initially poised for a military career, Agnelli's fascination with the nascent automobile industry led him down a different path. In 1899, he co-founded Fabrica Italiana di Automobili Torino, or Fiat, marking a pivotal moment in the automotive landscape. A fervent racing aficionado, Agnelli's accolades on the racetrack mirrored the strides his company was making. However, it was his contributions during times of conflict that truly catalyzed Fiat's expansion. Whether it was supplying the military during the war against Libya in 1911 or World War, i.e., Agnelli's strategic maneuvers transformed Fiat from a modest venture to an industrial juggernaut. The iconic Lingato factory, embracing assembly line production, epitomized Fiat's remarkable growth. Amid this meteoric rise, Agnelli's path converged with Mussolini's in 1914. An alliance grounded in mutual support propelled Agnelli's influence into the political realm. However, this association also cast shadows of controversy over Fiat's history, as Agnelli's involvement in military ventures with Mussolini's regime was not without its ethical dilemmas. 2. Driving into the fog of secrecy The reigns of Fiat passed to Giovanni and Umberto Agnelli, grandsons of the founder who inherited a legacy of complexity. In their early adulthood, they were deemed too young to navigate the intricate landscape of the colossal enterprise. Consequently, the helm of fiat was entrusted to Vittorio Valletta, a move that would have far-reaching consequences. Coinciding with Valletta's tenure was the emergence of a covert gathering that would spark fervent debates the Bilderberg Group. Comprising the cream of North American and European power, this semi-secretive assembly generated controversy due to its closed-door meetings and undisclosed discussions. The opacity surrounding these gatherings raised questions about transparency and democratic principles, leading to speculation about the true intentions of the group. Valletta's role in this enigmatic group intertwined Fiat's history with the cryptic nature of the Bilderberg group, deepening the Agnelli family's mystique. 3. Steering Through Competitive Pressures the Agnelli family is a prominent Italian family that has played a major role in the country's automotive industry for over a century. After World War, I.I. the Agnellis expanded Fiat's vertically integrated network to encompass all aspects of car production, from raw materials to finished vehicles. This gave them a significant advantage over their competitors and allowed them to control the entire value chain. In the 1980s, with globalization in full swing, the Agnellis saw the need to reach beyond Italy's borders. They acquired strategic stakes in Ferrari, Lancia, and Alfa Romeo, three of Italy's most iconic automotive brands. This move allowed them to create a kind of Italian automotive dynasty with Fiat at the center. The Agnellis' audacious investments and strategic acquisitions paid off. Fiat's market share flourished, and it became one of the most successful car manufacturers in the world. The Fiat Uno, 
A compact hatchback with an economy-friendly price tag and a reputation for reliable performance became the company's best-selling vehicle in the UK. However, the Agnella's success did not come without challenges. Japanese and Korean automakers were making their mark on the global automotive industry with their technologically advanced, fuel-efficient models. The Agnellis responded by investing in research and development, and they also diversified into other industries, such as aerospace and telecommunications. Today, the Agnelli family continues to play a major role in the Italian automotive industry. John Alkin, Giovanni Agnelli's grandson, is the chairman of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, FCA. Under his leadership, FCA has continued to grow and innovate, and it remains one of the world's leading car manufacturers. The Agnelli family story is a saga of ambition, power, and resilience. They have overcome challenges and emerged stronger, and they continue to shape the Italian automotive industry. 4. Today's influence of the Agnelli family in Italy and beyond. As the 2020S unfolded, the Agnellis maintained a formidable degree of power and influence, particularly within the automotive sphere. Recent estimations place their wealth at an astonishing $13.5 billion, a testament to their enduring economic prowess. At the helm of this influential dynasty stood John Elkin, the chosen heir to both Fiat and the Agnelli legacy. Over the past 15 years, Elkin played a pivotal role in orchestrating the revival of the Agnelli empire. His leadership was marked by strategic maneuvers and transformations that reshaped the family's business landscape. His instrumental role in the merger of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and Pugiot underscored their adaptability to changing times. As the acting president of Stellantis, Elkan's influence extended across the industry. Alongside John Elkan, the next generation of the Agnelli family, including Lapo Elkan and Ginevra Elkan, continued to contribute to the family's influence within the realm of automotive and beyond. Their impact, however, transcended the boundaries of the automotive sector. Investments spanned diverse sectors, featuring iconic brands like Ferrari and Juventus Football Club. Their media holdings, including a stake in GEDI, showcased their reach within the media industry. As we've journeyed through the history of the Agnellis, we've uncovered a story of power, influence, and legacy that spans generations. The Agnellis, the secret rulers of Italy, remain an integral part of the nation's narrative, a testament to the enduring impact of one family's vision. Don't miss out on uncovering the hidden history of Italy's power players. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more captivating stories.